Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the PFL bout in the lightweight division between Clay Collard versus Shane Burgles. And how I throw this one is I'm going average confidence Shane Burgles to beat Clay Collard. And um, average confidence for a reason. I don't think either guy has no big lead on the other guys, but I'm going average confidence um, Shane Burgles. But yeah, this is a good scrap. I think both guys are going to bring it. Um... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a boring fight at all. I think it's gonna be a both guys gonna be bringing it, but ultimately I'm leaning um Shane Burgos because he does have that other facet. I feel like Clay Collar, you know, everybody in MMA is all around. They train their jujitsu, they train their wrestling, train some people more than others. Some other train, some fighters train this more than that. But if you're in MMA, you have been competing this long and are at this level, you definitely do everything. But as far as in the cage, like I said, they do all the stuff outside the cage. But when it comes to the in the cage. Yeah, different story. But Shane Burgos, he at least does everything in the cage, whereas Clay Collard is really just strikes. And it's not like he's the most phenomenal boxer in the world. He's not. Solid for MMA, actually elite for MMA in boxing, but in Rota and boxing, nothing. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Alina Shane Burgos here, more high-level experience, more high-level success, you know, and ability to mix it up in a fight that at the very least, you know, at the very worst is a competitive fight. You know, no matter you cut, it's going to be a competitive fight. But... Um, Shane Burgos in that fight he can mix it up and he does have high level BJJ as well not to say world class BJJ but MMA solid BJJ you know very underrated and actually a tool he can use wrestling he can use whereas Clay Collard more so just gonna grapple and defensive so in a competitive fight that competitive boxing bout also Clay also um Shane Burgos does have the heavier hands Clay Collard more of a volume guy than a knockout guy typically typically for the most part but yeah I think yeah Shane Burgos should be landing heavier shots and also should be able to mix it up to get his hand raised in a decision victory. So, in this one, I have Shane Burgos via decision. 